My name is Yvonne Strahovski and I am playing Sophie Werner. Don't tell me where you are. No, I'm Sophie! I'm coming right now. You're not coming here! We first meet Sophie uh, pre-detention centre, uh, you know, living her life as, um, as a vibrant young woman with a, a career in, um, as a flight attendant and she has a family and we sort of slowly start to see that there are some issues there with the family. Perhaps a shower before we sit down. They're not exactly accepting of Sophie in the way that she perhaps would want her family to be accepting of her. I just worry about you. Well, don't. And we start to see little holes here and there with Sophie's story and how she struggles with anxiety. And then she gets caught up in a cult. It's the acceptance that she's been yearning for. Waiting for you is the person that you were always meant to be. And she falls for their messaging and she falls for their uh, practices, they have community theatre, they have community dance. Let the dance dance you. Everything's very enticing and very loving or seemingly loving and giving and it's all about following your instincts and empowering yourself. But it's led by our character Gordon, played by Dominic West. And a terrible thing happens, she gets very distressed and because she already is troubled, she feels like she has nowhere to go and her family want her to be hospitalised. We're gonna go and see and she doesn't want that. You're taking all of my things! This is my life! She wants to escape her family and she wants to escape the trauma of Gordon and Gopa the cult. Run far, far away. She's basically lost both her family. She just feels completely lost and driven to then lie about her being Sophie Werner. So she steals someone's passport at a, a backpacker's. Then she gets caught by the police. No, I don't want to go! And because she seems to be a person from overseas who isn't supposed to be in Australia, they throw her into the immigration system and she ends up in the detention centre. My name is Eva Hoffman. So when she arrives, it's a total shock. I mean, we're in the middle of the desert. It's immediately alarming to her and she's trying to put the pieces together of where she is unlike our other detainee characters who want to stay in Australia. Sophie wants to be deported back to Germany where she supposedly came from. I need to be deported. Uh, the Department of Immigration. And there's the question of whether they're actually trying to work out who she is or whether she just gets lost in the system and sort of forgotten about. I need to go from I Germany. Germany. It was pretty shocking when I first arrived. Um, I so see you're capturing the nicer angle of, I don't know if you can see the garden there, but that's, that's like the nicest part of, of our little detention centre. Um, no, it was very shocking. I walked into uh, my character's room, immediately got emotional, just thinking, how could anyone live here? So many weeks or months or, or years, I mean, people have been in detention for so many years, just walking around that one square, going crazy, basically, and not being able to live not being able to connect with anybody you want to connect with outside. And not staying and being deported. And what was doubly shocking was I didn't realise that all of the beautiful extras that we have working with us are actually people who are directly connected to an experience, a real experience with detention, whether they've actually been in detention themselves or have family who have been in detention. And there were many stories that we heard in the first few days of working and getting to know these people of what they've been through. I mean, there's, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of tears, a lot of, wow, this suddenly got really, really real. 